Hey guys, it's Andy here, aka Mistake, and in this video, I'm going to be messing around with possibly the most amazing, yet ridiculously messy stuff known as ferrofluid. Now, I have been known to previously mess around with this stuff in older videos, so if you wish to check them out, I will link them at the end of this one. Also, I don't talk in those videos, so if you're one of those people from the comment section that keep going, Hey, this guy's voice is annoying! Then, yep, you may wish to view those videos instead. So, what is ferrofluid? Well, it's a material that acts like a liquid, but when introduced to a magnetic field, it becomes a kind of jellified solid. It's made from ridiculously tiny ferromagnetic particles that are suspended in an oil-like liquid. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. Let's watch the video. So I got a hold of a few of these 10 milliliter tubes of ferrofluid from the internet. This stuff tends to be made from laser ink toner, which contains those magnetic particles. I also found myself a bunch of metal objects ready to be magnetized. Using some old tapes to prop up the plastic dish. Hey, I've been looking for that. I placed the magnet under the dish to secure the first object. I then added the ferrofluid using a pipette. Interesting. You can see the ferrofluid follows the path of the magnetic field down the sharp edges of the drill piece. Given the right surface area, this stuff begins to spike up. The spikes occur because the magnetic particles in the ferrofluid are lining up with the magnetic field. Let's try it on some more objects. Pretty darn cool. Nice. As you can see, like I said, this stuff is messy. In fact, it stains just about everything. Better get some white spirit for that. Then finally, I decided to add the ferrofluid directly to the magnet. Might as well just use the whole tube. The ferrofluid gathers at each of the magnetic poles and totally jellifies. It's really slippy. In fact, there's barely any friction there. Let's see how long it can spin for. Okay, it's um, still going. Okay, well, whilst it's still spinning, here's the links to those other ferrofluid videos. And there we go. 
So there we have it, the amazing yet ridiculously messy ferrofluid. I'll see you next time.